Toronto has won the first three games against Washington this season. But the Wizards come in hot and John Wall has an opportunity to send his team two games over 500 for the first time since the end of the 07-08 season. Second quarter, Terrence Ross, who's been playing really well, drives and injures his ankle. He would not return, diagnosed at the time with a sprained left ankle. So without Ross, the Raptors would carry on. Washington would lead it by three at the break. On to the third quarter, John Wall from downtown. Now the Wizards are up by eight. Toronto then responds with an 11-0 run. Kyle Lowry, the floater. DeMar DeRozan, this great backcourt combo. DeRozan cutting down the middle, gets the bucket, and one more to bring his squad within one. On to the fourth quarter where this would remain tight. Lowry the steal. Gets it to Amir Johnson, and Johnson all alone, the throwdown. It was 97-95 home team, and they're fired up north of the border. But hold on, here comes John Wall, the first time all-star, with a big bucket to put the Wizards back in front by two. But how about this guy, Grievous Vasquez, comes off the bench, scores 14 in the fourth quarter, sweet, nice behind the back dribble, and then the floater. Washington up by one. Now with the game tied, under 40 seconds to go. John Wall comes up with a huge rejection. Only problem, it was called goaltending. Refs would go to the video, confirm the call, and now Toronto's up by two. Bradley Beal with an opportunity to tie the game. Beal shot, no good. Marcin Gortat, the rebound and the putback with 5.2 were tied. 106 and 106, Kyle Lowry. No good on the potential game winner. But Lowry, more importantly, lands on Marcin Gortat's foot. It appears to roll his right ankle. Lowry would come up. He would be hobbling, but stay in the game. Into overtime. Here he is. Lowry makes it 108-106. But back the other way. It's a backcourt battle. John Wall scored six of Washington's eight points in this overtime period. And we're tied at 114. Raptors with a chance to win it. Two and a half seconds to go. Lowry drives, but he is blocked and no chance of a goaltending call this time. Wall preserves the tie and we're going to double overtime. About a minute 20 to play. Vasquez puts it up. But Jonas Valanciunas is called for offensive goaltending. Tied at 116. Washington ball. Bradley Beal loses it. Vasquez comes up with it. His floater falls, but... The whistle is in favor of Washington. Offensive goaltending call. Washington would take a two-point advantage. Toronto ball. DeMar DeRozan drives, goes baseline, comes back the other way, and what a crafty move. DeRozan ties the game with 2.7 to go. Wizards with a chance to win it. Beal drives. The land goes. But it comes after the buzzer. The refs call it no good right away and would confirm it via replay at the table. 118 and 118, Beal so close to winning it, but we've got triple overtime. Vasquez in transition, pulls up, why not? Season high, 26 points for Vasquez. Raptors by three. Wizards respond. The two-man game, Martin Gortat, the bucket, and an opportunity for one more. And Kyle Lowry fouls out there. Gortat, 31 points, 12 rebounds. How about the defense from Washington? Wall intercepts the pass, and Trevor Ariza finishes. Toronto committed 18 turnovers. The Wizards turn that into 29 points. Wall strips Vasquez, and Martel Webster finishes it. At a game that had five players foul out, 19 ties and 15 lead changes, the Wizards hang on to win it in triple overtime. They're now two games over 500 for the first time since the end of the 07-08 season. Fifth straight win for Washington and just a game and a half out of fourth place.